Thank you for joining me for yet another unboxing video. And today we have the game Pandemic, a game by Matt Leacock, brought to you by Z-Man Games. Pandemic, you and your companions are highly skilled members of a disease fighting team waging a battle against four deadly diseases. Your team will travel across the globe, stemming the tide of infection and develop the resources you'll need to discover the cures. You must work together using your individual strengths to destroy the diseases before they overtake the world. The clock is ticking as outbreaks and epidemics accelerate the spread of the plague. Will you find the cures in time? The fate of humanity is in your hands. This game is for ages 10 up for two to four players and it lasts about 45 minutes to play. It has a table of contents, gives you pictures of some of the items that are included in the game. Okay, now, retail value of the game is $34.99. I found this one in the budget bin for $5.99. So as soon as I saw this, I was like, gotta pick it up. There you have it. Again, for more information about this game, which was released in 2007, go to zmangames.com. Now, I have played this game before and it's really, really very, very enjoyable. But I never owned a copy of it. So now they picked it up for $5.99. It was, and it was not on sale. So I had to pay the $5.99 versus the $34, which to me is a great deal. So anyway, let's move on here. So we got the rule book right off the bat. Again, pandemic. We're going to try to find a cure for the disease. You, got, you have a list of components that you got there. Okay, object of the game. It's a cooperative game. You and your fellow players are members of a disease control team working together to research cures and prevent additional outbreaks. Each of you will assume a unique role within the team with special abilities that will improve your team's chances of applied wisely. The object is to save humanity by discovering cures to four deadly diseases, blue, yellow, black, and red, that threaten to overtake the planet. If you and your team aren't able to keep the diseases contained before finding the necessary cures, the planet will be overrun and the game will end in defeat for everyone. Do you have what it takes to save humanity? It tells you how to set the game up right there. The game summary. Hand each player. Two place on the board. Infect some cities. Place within easy reach. Prepare the player draw pile. Game turn. Take four actions. Draw two cards to add to his hand. Take on the role of the infector. Actions, basic actions, drive or ferry, direct flight, charter flight, shuttle flight, or pass. Special action, build a research station, discover a cure, treat a disease, eradicating a disease, the medic, sharing knowledge, the researcher. Drawing cards, special event cards, hand limit, sharing information about cards, the epidemics. Increase the infection rate, infect, increase the intensity of the infection, playing the infection, outbreaks, chain reactions, a couple of examples they throw in here, turn end. Game end defeat. The game ends immediately in defeat if for all players if any of the following conditions occur. A player needs to add disease cubes to the board and there aren't any left of that color in the supply. The eighth outbreak occurs. The outbreak marker reaches the skull symbol on the outbreak indicator. There are not enough cards in the player draw pile when a player must draw cards. Victory. Players collectively win the game immediately when the cures for all four diseases, blue, yellow, black, and red, have been discovered. Players do not need to administer cures to every infected city in order to win the game. Victory is an instant when any player discovers the fourth and final cure. And on the back... Where things stand, action one, action two, action three, action four, draw two cards. There you go. And so just basically gives an, an example of what a turn, when you, how, how it would go. So that's very, a uh, sample turn. So that's very, very helpful to have in the back of there too, okay? Again, more information about Pandemic, you go to zmangames.com. So, okay, so before I put this down, I'm gonna pull a couple things out of the box. And I'm going to put the board down because the board is uh, good size, to say the least. 
And so I'm gonna put this over here for a minute, put this and this over here for a minute. And let's get that board out here because it is a pretty big board, what I remember. So again, here's the board for pandemic. So let's take a look at the bottom of the board first. So here's your outbreak counter. Again, you, have eight, you can't get higher than eight. There it is. The different countries, again, it's a world map basically. Cures discard, you have the blue, yellow, black, and orange, or red. You have your player cards down here. Order of play down here, take four actions, draw two cards, resolve epidemics, discard to seven cards, draw infection cards. Here's the top of the board, again, different cities these are the links of how you can get and what cities you can get to so you have to go from Chicago to Atlanta Atlanta Washington so you can't go directly from Chicago to Washington you have to go according to you know staying within their limits that you can flying across from the United States or to Europe to London to Essen St. Petersburg there's your infection rate up top infection cards go up top again over here so it's basically a world map if you think about it that's really all it is. Okay. Over here, Far East, Australia, Russia, China, Africa. This is Europe, South America, North America. So there are your continents. There you go. It's all down there. Greenland's up there. So some of the things that you get you also get so your rule book we'll throw that back on the table there's your rule book for it there's your so you got a bunch of different stuff here so let's start off by looking at some of the characters who you can be and they're in a handy little little bag so it gives you your basic actions again drive move your pawn to an adjacent city Direct flight, discard a card to move your pawn to the city picture dot. Charter flight, discard the card showing your current city and move to any city on the board. Shuttle flight, move to a city containing a research station if your pawn is in a city containing a station. Okay, so that is, these are, you get a couple of these cards, which are your basic action cards, okay? And then the back is a special action. So let's take a look, flip it over. Build a research station. Discard a card showing your current city to build a research station there. Discover a cure. Discard five cards of the same color to cure the disease of that color. Your pawn must be in a city containing a research station. Treat disease. Remove a disease cube from the city your pawn occupies. If the cure has been found, remove all the cubes of that color from that city. Share knowledge. Pass a card from one player to another. Both players' pawns must be in the city pictured on the card that is passed. There you go. So you get four of those cards. You have your roll cards. You can be the medic. You get that pawn. Remove all cubes from a single color when you treat a city administer, administer known cures for free. Dispatcher. Move your fellow player's pawns on your turn as if they were your own. Move any pawn to another city containing a pawn for one action. Researcher, you may give a player cards from your hand for one action per card. Both of your pawns must be in the same city, but it doesn't matter which city you are in. Scientist, you need only four cards of the same color to discover a cure. Operations expert, you may build a research station in your current city for one action. So those are the five different roles you can be. Then you have your epidemic cards. One, increase, move the, inflect, the infection rate indicator up by one. Infect, draw a card off the bottom of the infection draw pile and infect the indicated city with three cues. Discard the card, intensify. Shuffle the infection discard pile and place it on top of the infection draw pile. So you get a couple of these cards here. You get one, two, three, you get six of those. Then you have your city cards. It's a fun little 
little bags that they come in. Put those up there. Both backs are the same. On the front, what's important? So the front gives you a, little ba a background about the uh, population, how big it is, the flag, and it's Hong Kong. Top and bottom say the same. Special event, government grant. Add a research station to any city for free. Ho Chi Minh City, Santiago, Riada, Tokyo, Chennai, Tehran, Istanbul, Bangkok. Special event, one night, one quiet night. The next player to begin the playing, the infection phase of their turn may skip that phase entirely. Play at any time does not require an action. Beijing, Lima, San Francisco, Jakarta, Washington, Bogota, Shanghai. Obviously, the colors indicate where on the map they are. So this one here, you're going to find over here. Right. This one says special event forecast. Examine the top six cards from the convection draw pile. Rearrange them in the order of your choice, then place them back on the pile. Moscow, San Paulo. Resilient population. That's in New York. They got special event again. Airlift. Chicago, Mumbai, Atlanta, St. Petersburg, Madrid, Cartown, Sydney, Cairo, Los Angeles, London, Osaka, Karachi, uh, Mexico City, Kinshasa, Toronto, Milan, Seoul, Kolkata, Johannesburg, Algiers, Miami, Manila, Buenos Aires, Lagos, Baghdad, uh, Delhi, Paris, and Taipei. So those are all the cities that are you can travel to in the game. Okay, sorry. As you saw, I dropped a couple of cards, so it happens from time to time, and they slip out of your hand. So there are your, got your deck of cards that you have there. All right. Now you have your infection cards. And they look like this. And all of them are the same. And they will say, based on color, right, and the epidemic cards get thrown into with these, this deck here. So again, it'll say the type of infection that'll go in there. So you pull this card, Baghdad, Iraq, it gets a Black, Karachi, Mumbai, Istanbul, and where they're located on the map also, Shanghai, Lagos, Toronto, Manila, Seoul. Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, Tokyo, Japan, Osaka, Japan. So you see how these work. So this would be Chicago in the United States, uh, Miami, United States, Moscow, Milan, uh, Khartoum, Sudan. So Beijing, Sydney, St. Petersburg. I'll tell you basically what area in the map it is. So it tells you right there. Chennai, Kolkata, Cairo. Again, so it's the same thing as these cities that are mentioned here. So there you are. Don't need to go through the rest of them to get the general gist of which ones they are. Oh, so wait a minute here. I'm forgetting to mention something. So as you go through here, if you look at these cards real quick, you see the different viruses it'll show you. So you remember you got the blue virus, the yellow virus, the black virus, and the red virus. So the picture, the picture that you see there tells you where you're located on the map, but also shows a different strain that there are. The blue ones have a strain that looks like that. The orange has one that looks like that, orange or red, depending on how you want to look at it. All right, there's the red. The yellow, again, looks a little different, like those spindles on the back of it. And the black ones have a different strain as well. So you know there's, there's four different infections that are taking place, the blue, yellow, black, and red. And basically it tells you which kind of cube to put down there. So if I, you know, you flip one of these cards, you get this one, you know that you're putting a red cube down over there. Okay, the backs are all the same, but the fronts 
they change depending on what type of infection there is in there. So there you are. And those are your infection cards, which are right here. Okay, we got our pawns here. Nice, big, thick, wooden pawns. One for each of your characters. Do your movement and your biohazard marker. Research laboratories. Again, got a bunch of those. So you got six of those, it appears. And you got these two markers here, which are important as well. So you got those, you can build those. You got five guys right there. And in these little containers here, you have the cubes for your infection. So the blue infection goes here with this. And there you go, there's your virus. All right, so that goes down here and then Flip it over when it has been defeated. So you flip a card. So just hypothetically, I don't, everything's covered in the map though, but if you pulled, all right, so San Francisco, you'd find San Francisco map, and these are the these are the color viruses that you put onto that card. Right. Okay. And then again, you have your emblem for blue virus you have it for again the same thing for the yellow and the cubes I'll just, you only need to see one cube the cubes are, are solid they're wood no they're lightweight but they're good very good quality everything in this game is high quality from the art to the presentation to everything it's very very high quality That's why i picked this up because i saw it and i was like yeah i don't know how this is my collection i said might as well pick it up so very, very fun game. Um, be very nerve wracking when you start running out of cards, but overall it's fun. So you have, again, this is for your yellow infection, which is right down here. This is for your black infection, which is right here. And your blue infection is here. And again, it comes off as orange on, it looks has more of an orange hue to it when you're on the camera, but, but it's, I believe, I believe it's a red color more than this orange, but if it's orange or red, it doesn't really matter. But again, there's the cure. There's your little icon, and there it is right there. So there you have it. Sandwich bag's not included. Uh, so there you have it. everything that's included in the game. Pandemic, brought to you by Z-Man Games. A game by Matt Leacock. So, once again, thank you so much for joining me for this unboxing video. It's truly appreciated. If you enjoyed it, you can always give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. You can also hit that subscribe button. This way you'll be kept up to date as to any time we release new content to the page. As always, thank you so much for joining us. Be safe, be well, enjoy the remainder of your day. And we'll check, we'll see you on the next unboxing video.